Nationals going into game two. Best of three series between Lithium and Risk. And uh, Risk closed it out in the first game. Let's see how well they do this time around. Uh, again, I'll be co-casting with Mark LaRose. Mike LaRose. Mike LaRose, not Mark. Yeah. Mike. Yeah. Sorry, Mike. That's fine. <laughs> kind of got down. squished together in this cool little conglomerate at the last second here. Well, we're bringing you game two. And, uh, well, if we keep seeing what we've been seeing, it should be pretty exciting. Yeah, Risk going to pull no punches. They're going to instantly ban out that Death Prophet. Might even ban out the Pugna as well. Um, Lithium, they definitely are m the most comfortable with Death Prophet with Pugna. And sometimes you just got to ignore hero strength and just ban out what the other team is comfortable with. And, I mean, last game, Lithium... They seemed a little bit lost. The TA didn't have the best of times. The lanes kind of just dropped off really heavily for Lithium. It started out well, but uh, they definitely weren't in their comfort zone in the last game. But it looks like they're going to allow the Pugna to go through. Let's see if uh, Lithium actually want to capitalize on that. Well, maybe we'll see Risk go ahead and pick up the Pugna first. Just uh, ban it out from Lithium. Oh, okay. Radiant team pick. I think you might be a little bit ahead of me for some reason. I didn't see the Pugna ban, or whatever. Uh, no, I just uh, no, I I said Pugna and then it then it appeared. I'm, oh, okay. I'm kind of a wizard like that. Oh well, I will let you predict what risk is gonna pick up first then. Oh, okay. Well, I say it's gonna be a clockwork. Oh, <laughs> bravo! Two for right. two. That's two it. for I'm two. Done. I'm out, folks. <laughs> Well done. All right, so a clockwork first for Risk. We've seen this in pro scenes. We've seen this in the uh, amateur scene. It's just a really, really strong hero to keep pace of the game just because it's really hard to lock him down in lane. And then once you hit the mid game, he'll be able to jump around everywhere. Of course, he'll have the rocket flare to spawn the Roshan, uh, respond, uh, spot the Roshan attempts and the Roshan timers. Mm -hmm. So a solid pickup Five from Risk if, of course, they have someone who could, is comfortable with playing it. I'm assuming Zertoxo, seeing as though he played the Timbersaw last game. Um, I'm trying to think. I've seen Risk playing the Clockwork. I mean, he's such a popular pickup. You see him pretty much almost every game. Uh, but, yeah, I think we have seen Zertoxo uh, playing up against... Uh, can't think of who he'd run up against, though, in the off lane. But, uh, I mean, just a, a Zertoxo... Zertox has really been playing really well um, on his loft lane heroes. I mean, no matter who he has, whether it be the the Timber Saw especially, um, but he's just been doing really well in that in that role. I mean, in the same way, the Slavi has been kind of dominated the mid role. So, I mean, seeing him on the Clockwork, it, it won't be too much of a surprise, and uh, I'm sure he'll do really well in that regard. Even if it, I mean, you can put him up against the Trial Lane. I think he does really well. Crystal Maiden. Lithium Gaming gonna go once again for the uh, Crystal Maiden. Uh, well, we'll see how it actually shapes up for them this time. Uh, wait, they did get Crystal Maiden last game, right? I'm not confusing them with the past set that I casted. It was, uh, uh, no, Mind no, Control no, was had, Crystal Maiden. They're going to go for Crystal it. Maiden for the first time in this game, as well as the Life Stealer. This is a classic combination of Radiant slow to close the distance so that Life Stealer can apply even more slow and risk, instantly responding to that Life Stealer with a Razor Pick. Back. That damage drain will go through Rage. Yeah, and that's really... Uh, Clockwork is already a pretty natural counter to Lifestealer. Uh, you don't really want to fight him 1v1 like while you're in the cogs, but just keeping the Lifestealer away from the fight, keeping him kited, is Lifestealer's biggest weakness. And uh, now we've got the Razor here, so going through Five Rage... I mean, Lifestealer, he relies on that Rage a lot to be able to dish out his damage through the early to the mid game, he's and now he's not going to be able to have that damage uh, if he comes up against the Razor. Yeah, and I think this is also going to mean that Clockwork will probably rush the Force Staff, just because, as you said before, if he goes in and gets the Cogs and Life Stealer, he definitely doesn't want to be in that Cage of Death. He'll just Force Staff him his way out and then let Razor do the work from there on out. But we have the second set of bans coming out now. Puck as well as Storm Spirit, not really surprising bans from Risk, seeing as though there is a Life Stealer. Uh, in my opinion, Puck is uh, Storm Spirit's the best hero as kind of that Life Stealer taxi. Puck is uh, right behind that Storm Spirit, but they just want to make it difficult for the Life Stealer to get into those fights, and we'll see if Lithium could actually get an effective uh, means of feast bombing the enemy team. They themselves banning out the Bane and as well as the Rubik. Just targeting Risk supports heroes that synergize well with the Razor, especially that Bane. Yeah, and uh, I mean, there's still Naga Siren in the pool, so of course her net being a physical stun does really well against Lifestealer. Another great thing which um, saw in a game uh, 
during the other brackets yesterday was fantastic use of the Naga Siren song. They didn't use it to initiate, they didn't use it to escape. They had a lineup to where they would wait for the Life Stealer to rage, then they would song, and then they could instantly pick off the Life Stealer. It was an extremely well executed strategy. And when you have a Razor on the team, I mean, Static Link is going to go. Uh, it's going to stay on the life stealer. He's going to have a hard time getting away from that anyway. So if you lock uh, lock him down, just have him be the only one you can whack on while the song is up, and he's going to go down before the rest of your team is even able to react. So Risk is going to pick up the Shadow Demon. I'm not too sure about this right now. I mean, they still have two more picks. They could pick up a Marana or something like that and get that Shadow Demon Marana combination. But uh, Shadow Demon, with what they have right now, usually we don't see Shadow Demons because he, yes, he is a great setup hero, but at the end of the day, that's pretty much all he is. I guess they will have the uh, Purge, which will slow down the Life Stealer again. More stuff to just deal with that Life Stealer. But as a hero, he doesn't do much by himself. He's really reliant on his allies. So, uh, and Lithium Gaming can recognize that they're going to pick up the Marana. So, a pick slash ban from Lithium, and now Shadow Demon is kind of in an awkward spot. Well, and I wouldn't be surprised to see uh, support Marana in this case, trilaning with the Life Stealer and the Crystal Maiden. Um, I mean, I guess, oh, let me throw that out, they do have the Visage. I saw Visage run in the mid lane the other day to not very good effect. It was like a 4 protect 1 strat. It didn't work out very well. Um, so maybe scratch that a bit. Marana's obviously going to be going mid or off in this case. Radiant team. Um, but with the Shadow Demon, the thing I do like about that is the fact that um, the Razor with the Static Link, if you disrupt somebody, Static Link, I believe, will still stay on and will still stay, uh, drain damage. So you can keep somebody locked down for a long period of time in both Cogs seconds, really? and the um, and the Disruption. And of course, it's easy to set up Cogs with the Disruption as well. Dire team pick. Uh, yeah, I guess that's, that's good enough, I guess. And when you combine that with the fact that Demonic Purge is always there for the Life Stealer. Yeah, Shadow mm. Demon is, does have a couple of uh, things to set up for his team. And, uh, well, final bans out from both sides. Lithium going to target the hard, hard carry of the Spectre. I think it would actually be a decent game to pick up the Spectre for Risk. Um, maybe not as much because of the Visage and Crystal Maid on the other Ten side, seconds. just because they have an inherently defensive lineup with Disruption and stuff like that. And then Risk going to ban out the Queen of Pain, another mid lane hero. The Lithium Gaming, their pick for the mid lane is going to be that Mag, and that will give Lifestealer a means of getting into the fight with that Skewer and eventually with that Blink Dagger. Yeah, and I do agree, the Spectre would have been a great pickup here, especially when you consider, like, if they use a uh, defensive disruption on the Spectre in the late game, and you have an additional couple of copies of her running around the map with uh, the this late damage, I mean, that's <laughs> that's a significant amount of damage that's going to be coming out in the Five team fights. Um, and just a, another piece of good synergy, I think, that would have worked out well. They also have a naturally defensive lineup, I think. Uh, Clockwork and Razor are going to have to help carry things through here. Um, but I think they're going to want to, now with the Alchemist pickup, try to sit back and just get some farm and items up. Because Lifestealer is going to be wreaking havoc on them uh, in the mid-game otherwise. Yeah, we do have that Alchemist-Shadow Demon combination now. So Mind Control will have more than enough things to set up uh, being that Shadow Demon. and uh, It's actually really more effective combination that you would think, like Shadow Demon setting up for the Alchemist, because it allows his concoction to tick down lower, which of course makes it more powerful. And there's no way that they're going to get out of that disruption. So, hey, it's a pretty good pickup now that they uh, actually have fleshed out their lineup. And uh, that will give them their late game in combination with Razor. There will be the Alchemist Life Stealer kind of duel in the late game. Magnus will have the Empower to help the Life Stealer out, but, you know, Slavi will also have the Razor Drain of damage. And uh, Alchemist, his illusions aren't as terrifying as Spectre illusions, but they're still uh, a force to be reckoned with. All right, on the risk side, we have Sir Toxo going up to the top lane as the clockwork. Power is going to be playing the Razor. Slavi is on the Alchemist. Dendo is going to be on the Chen, and Mind Control is on the Shadow Demon. It's the same server, right? It is the same server, yes. Um, this is strange. We have Slavi playing the Alchemist, so it's going to be a farming Razor. That is definitely weird. I think it's... They're laning it like this, seeing the Magnus pick, and that's completely in response. Uh, Alchemist is more than functional in the mid lane, especially against another melee hero. The Acid is going to make things so easy for him, though at the same time, uh, I think maybe they just want power to run up against uh, the Lifestealer, and 
Well, as it stands right now, that's not going to happen. Seconds yeah, they definitely have to scout this out. And uh, well, if he picks up Rocket Flare first, he might be able to scout it out here. But otherwise, face checking it, probably not a good idea. Yeah. So. And uh, really with this Chen and the Shadow Demon, I'm, uh, I'm going to anticipate, if I may, a first blood on the Magnus in the mid lane. I think there's going to be early rotation, a setup with a disruption into like a Centaur Stomp. And with Alchemist here to also set up his stuns, I think it's going to be a fairly easy first blood early begins. on. All right, well, we'll see if your wizard powers pull through for a third time. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, meanwhile, on the lithium side, we have Garb playing that Marana. Demon is going to be handling the mid mag. Uh, on the top lane, we have OMFG playing the Visage, heading down south for now. Lunatic is going to be blocking for now with the Crystal Maiden up top, and that leaves Undefeated on the Life Stealer. And I actually think you are completely correct, especially if Dendo gets a very, very fast, lucky spawn. And, uh, well, in five seconds, we'll see if he's lucky enough for that. But, yeah, Demon, he will have the Skewer to get out of that, but there's still a lot of Chain Stun, and the you could throw the Alchemist Stun while the Mag is kind of, like, running in place for a Skewer, and that would usually land. Oh, there aren't any Centaurs, and OMFG's hanging around. I think your Wizarding Powers are failing. There's Oof. only Wild Wings. Like, yeah, what is everywhere. this? Everywhere. <laughs> That never happens. Chen's going to have a great time farming up stacks. Good heavens. Yeah, and I don't think Slavi is going to mind that much. Of course, he would have liked to participate in the First Blood, but just having that acid down and will at least, at the very worst for Slavi, break even. Uh, but I doubt that's going to be the case. Unless he gets screwed back, that's just dangerous. But uh, he will be fine to assert his dominance over this lane and well top lanes are Toxo is going to be going up against the life stealer mostly and Lunatic is going to hang around just a little bit but the clock with the cogs should be relatively safe from this combination of heroes in the meantime we have the bottom lane mind control it's going to mess with garb a little bit We're talking about the uh, static link into a disruption combination unfortunately for the risk side, there's no real way of keeping the Marana locked down, so she could just leap on out of that. Uh, unless Mind Control just gets a kill right now, but Marana taking quite a beating. That's going to force a salve out. Yeah, trading hits with the Shadow Demon. I'm not sure if that was... Well, he actually went Boots first, so I think uh, I think he recognized that he doesn't have any regen, and that if he wants to avoid dying in any sort of gank attempts, he's going to have to go back to base. Well, Mind Control does still have the Disruption, and really that's all you need the Shadow Demon to do. Just disrupt someone and then run away and try not to die. Uh, he'll be jungling a little bit with Dendo. Still no good spawns. They've cleared out only one camp. And uh, there's a Hellbear, which isn't the worst. But still, it's nothing that could actually handle this Marana, especially since their stuns are you know, in the other lanes. There's no stuns in the bottom lane to kill the Marana, which is really where you want your sons to be. Smoke now up from Dendo as well as Mind Control. They're gonna wrap around poor Demon, though it looks like Slavi can almost kill the Magnus by himself, forcing teleportation from OMFG. But I think Demon might just stick around. Probably shouldn't do that, Demon. Nah, he's gonna be fine. My gratitude. Yeah, I'm actually kind of surprised that Slavi went in so early there. I mean, he had rotation in. Denied. Actually, they're gonna head down bot. Yeah, they're going to go for Marana, but again, they don't have any stuns for this one. The Razor's going to close the distance for that Static Link, and the Hellbear Smash are going to slow them down by quite a bit. The Leap is going to happen, but I think Razor, with just one Whiplash, should be able to take care of the Marana. No, it won't be enough. The movement speed from Leap is going to get the Marana out to safety. So Garb survives with the, uh, well, boots of speed on both sides, so no movement speed differential because of boots. So it was really nicely played by Power there. Um, I mean, he stayed on the other side of the disruption, closer to the tower, because he knew that there was going to be a leap coming out. So he got the static link off for longer, but really he needed to get it off before the disruption came up, so he had that additional damage. If he had done that, I think the damage would have been enough to be able to take him out. Yeah, I think that definitely would have been the case, but at the same yeah, time, once you get static linked, you smash that leap button. You don't think about it, so I think yeah. that was probably the best way they could have handled it, uh, at least while still being safe in that gank at the same time. So, uh, mm. you know, Marana, she's a slippery hero. That's why Lithium feel comfortable putting her on that offline, because she could survive stuff like that. Uh, other heroes simply can't do that. Oh, now we see the top lane. lane. Lunatic as well as OMFG. They want Clockwork Blood, and I think they're probably going to get it too. Zertoxo is way far up. 
There's the open wounds as well as the grave chill. Kind of layering their CC just a little bit. Zertoxo is going to pop up the battery assault. Going to try to walk on out of there. He has three magic stick charges. Now four. He will pop them off and it will not be enough. Lunatic draws first blood on the top lane. First Clockwork blood. is going to be and the first one to die. Wait, I didn't notice Lunatic is playing at the Crystal Maiden? Uh, right, yeah. really see him in the, yeah, carry roll. That's interesting. Maybe ping issues or... Lifestealer? I don't think I've seen Lithium play Lifestealer, so maybe, like, Undefeated is just, that's just his hero? Huh, maybe. Still drawing the first blood either way, though. It's a greedy Crystal Maiden. And now they want more. OMFG and Lunatic gonna look towards the mid lane. Alchemist, does he have level 6? He's almost at that level 6 mark. Uh, but then again, so is Demon. Oh no, the Courier! Oh, the courier is gonna fly over the trees. They named their Courier Mind Control. <laughs> and my control is going to get secured back by a demon almost to the tier 2 tower. He will disrupt the mag. Slavi's going to come in, but it's already too late. He's going to try to get a stun on someone, but it's a very, very short stun. He's going to try to go for demon, and he's uh, actually taking a lot of this damage. Here comes Dendo with the centaur. Centaur is too slow to get a stomp onto anyone, though. So, Lithium, they get the kill, and they're probably going to make it out unless the centaur gets a miracle stomp. Uh, Slavi not making any move towards the retreating heroes. Everyone's going to get out alive for Lithium. Yeah, this is with boots a little too quick. But I don't think they're quite done yet. They're still hanging around. Centaur is going to be spotted by Lunatic. Going to land a stomp and then a couple of right clicks. But Lunatic shouldn't be bothered by that too much. It's free damage from the Chen. But uh, that's the first Centaur that he's going to find. Probably, like, judging by his luck, is going to be the last. I don't know. There's still one more available. Uh, but, yeah, the Centaur is... Where did the Centaur go? Oh, uh, it just died. Okay, it just died. Frostbite from the Crystal Maiden, yeah. All right, well... Shadow Demon, gonna roam around back to the bot lane where Garb, only 4 for 2, versus the, oh my god, 37 for 27, Razor. Power is absolutely demolishing this lane. You would expect that from a Razor versus a Marana, but, wow, that is an uncanny amount of dominance in that lane. Yeah, that's pretty significant. I mean, he's out-leveling her by, I think, a whole two levels here. Yeah. A and Slobby in the mid lane going to get skewered right back out of his tower. He's going to try to turn it around for Lunatic, though his hack speed just isn't there. He does a support from Dendo. The new gun to Lunatic will not be enough, though the tower will finish off the mag. Slobby does need a little bit more to kill off Lunatic. He does a phase boot, so I think this Crystal Maiden is as good as dead. Unless OMFG comes in for a miracle. Just needs a quick toss of that potion, and <laughs> Lunatic is going to die. He's watching his life flash before his eyes right there. Yeah. Doom coming in the form of a drugged up ogre. That's terrifying. <laughs> yeah, Dendo gonna jump in there for a quick assist. He doesn't have any creeps in the area, so this tower is going to be relatively safe for now. But yeah, just uh, looking back towards the bottom lane. Uh, no, we're not looking back towards the bottom lane. Demon, gonna get an RP onto Dendo as well as Mind Control. Mind Control's gonna drop it at the cost of his own life. Slavi's still alive. He is gonna secure the kill, or uh, Chen rather, is gonna secure the kill on that hero. So it's a one for one. But a mag for Shadow Demon, Risk is going to be okay with that. They're going to want to take that trade as many times as they can. But yeah, back on the bottom lane, Razor completely dominating this Mirana. Mirana has been solo completely for the entirety of the game. And uh, unlike Power, she's still trying to get some levels up, but with so many denies. I mean, uh, similar to Power in the last game. Uh, unlike Power in the last game, let me get my thoughts straight. She's. Still trying to get some levels up, but she's getting denied so heavily that it's going to be a while before she can effectively leave the lane and actually contribute. She has a level 3 arrow, which is a devastating spell if it lands. But she first has to actually leave. Oh, here we go, Zertoxo. Going to go straight for the mid lane. Lunatic is on the run. And I think this, we just saw this, drugged up ogres. <laughs> Chop. <laughs> she just can't run from that 375 moon speed without the phase active. It's a, it's a bad way to go. I can't speak from ex actually I probably yeah it's a bad way to go it's <laughs> it's not fun <laughs> but yeah, uh, also, I mean he's like been hanging out in this top lane and he's matched well was matched for CS with an uh, undefeated undefeated pulling ahead now but it was out leveling him too so he's like kind of keeping undefeated in check here before rotating out and then of course he rotates out and helps secure a kill but at the same time undefeated does have a full armlet which is uh, that was through any sort of boots or anything. So he doesn't have any boots, doesn't have any phase, which is usually what we see from life stealers all the time. It's like phase boots first, and unless Midas. But going for a quick armlet, uh, this signifies that Lithium wants to be 
aggressively fighting in the mid in the mid game, uh, I think Risk are going to be okay with meeting them in that field of battle because their Razor is just getting so far ahead. And Zertoxo, he's still not being pressured too much by this really farmed Life Stealer. If Life Stealer gets in the cage with Zertoxo, Down he bottom. will. Okay, well, Razor dies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he uh, he actually he juked the arrow uh, going this way and then ended up running right back into it. A bit unfortunate. Ah, he's too good for, for his own good. But yeah, he juked himself. Anyways, or talks. If he gets into a cage with undefeated, he's just gonna die. I'm pretty sure. But he's still fearless on this top lane, and yeah, that's the point I was trying to make. Yeah, well, because Zertaxo, I mean, if he brings the fight to undefeated, yeah, he's gonna go down. But undefeated, I mean, he just now picked up his brown boots. He's got 365 move speed. But he's gonna be a hard, uh, hard pressed to catch up to any of these heroes. So Armlet, I mean, yeah, it's gonna be of use after he can start hitting somebody, but he's not gonna be able to catch up to people. Alright, so Slavi has a haste rune and Lunatic's at less than half HP. Uh, he will salve up and everyone actually knows it. Slavi's gonna find OMFG. Is he really gonna go for this? He's gonna not drop the acid before the stun. The acid will not be enough to kill off OMFG. Slavi will bottle up and with that regeneration will escape. We have a stray rocket coming in. It will miss oh. everything. And Slavi agrees. Yeah, that was a bit unfortunate. I think if he threw down the acid spray before... Oh boy. Up in the meantime, open wounds onto Slavi. He's gonna go straight for Lunatic once again. Zertoxo gonna hookshot in. Lunatic just cannot catch a break. Moonlight Shadow might buy him enough time. It will not. Zertoxo will just strut right on out of there. There's nothing that Garb could do. He might be able to turn this one around when he has cogs, but there's no true sight. Acid's gonna drop. Demon dropping very low as well. Has an RP. Doesn't really want to use it right now. Life Stealer gonna invest into a Marana instead of Demon. Zertoxo gonna drop the cogs, which will make this fight very, very uh, trouble troublesome. But Garb, as well as undefeated, both getting a stun. RP being completely whiffed. And now undefeated, gonna try to go for mind control. Zertoxo in his way with the battery assault and the plasma field coming through from Risk Power. Why do I keep calling him the only one Risk Power? I don't know. But uh, Power gonna come in and clean up the rest of that Life Stealer's health points. It's gonna be Risk taking win after win in this little scuffle. So Slavi obviously got a little bit too aggressive there, trying to go on uh, the Magnus and then subsequently the uh, Visage. I think would have secured the Visage kill if he dropped the Acid Spray first, but uh, I mean, Lithium just spent way too much time chasing him back out, and by that point Risk was able to group up despite the Moonlight Shadow being there, and that Whiffed RP did absolutely nothing uh, for Lithium, so they definitely come out on the uh, bottom of that exchange. And then on top of that, as soon as the Life Stealer pops out of the Marana, they get double stunned by the Alchemist. And uh, yeah, then that was that was bad. <laughs> and then they waste the RP. Just nothing going right for Lithium. But you know when that happens, it's easy to shrug that off. You should be like, well, that was a lost cause. And oh, Arrow, not gonna land on anyone. Why is Mind Control here at no HP? I don't know. But uh, oh, they're gonna blink forward. Slavi has a blink dagger. There's a skewer, but there's no RP right now because he wasted it earlier. OMFG just now pops level six, and everyone's gonna survive. Slavi gonna get sent back home by Chen, and familiars actually might die right here. Arrow gonna fly, and it will miss. And the familiars don't die. And Slavi's back with a blink dagger. He's gonna chuck the potion at Garb. There's the frostbite on Slavi though. Acid is down. Garb should burn to this. Lunatic is in the acid as well with the freezing field. We'll do some pretty heavy damage to power, but it's not enough. Familiars chasing down the razor though with the defensive disruption. He will keep himself alive. No, it will not. It'll just time the, the Magnus shockwave perfectly. Slavi still does have that blink dagger with the potion shaking up. Demon will be safe. But now the top, the uh, mid tower rather, is in a little bit of danger. This is the most mobile alchemist I've ever seen in my entire life. He's just been blinking all over the place since he picked that thing up, wasting no time on it. So Dendo just trapped himself in the tower range with his own creeps. And then the familiars just killed him. So that happened. And all of those creeps oh. died as well. <laughs> oh. Like, he was right here, and he was walled by his creeps. It was the worst possible case of Miss Micro, but Slavi's gonna jump right in, get a two-man stun, and the Demonic tr Purge onto the Magnus will take him out as well. OMFG does have a full soul assumption, he will get it onto Mind Control, he's gonna duel off with Garb. Slavi does not have much mana left, he's using that Blink Dagger so much, with not much mana regen, he's now tapped for mana, he's gonna take an arrow straight to the face, the Familiar's doing a good amount of damage, he does have a stun, but I think Lunatic and Garb are both gonna make it out. No, Slavi wants this Crystal Maiden, he's gonna change his mind and go for Garb instead. I think this is gonna cost him his life, potentially. Uh, clockwork missile flying through. It's not going to hit onto the weak visage. That's what he was aiming for. And Slavi is going to walk his way out. Blink out, in fact. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Incoming. 
Slavi is just playing out of his mind right now. I have, I, I can't even anticipate what he's doing here. He's just getting all the runes, and that's keeping his mana up for the constant blink initiation from the Alchemist. I mean, oh, hookshot in. We have, once again, Garb in a little bit of trouble. He will leap out of both the cogs, but no, not out of the clutches of Slavi. Here comes the Alchemist. I think he'll have enough damage to do this. No, he won't with the backup Lunatic as well as OMFG. I don't know why OMFG did not heal up since he retreated back to his base. Another stack of poison will fly out towards Demons or Toxo. Does not have a four staff just yet. He will get Grave Chill. Lunatic is actually going to be the one to fall. Wrong place, wrong time, Crystal Maidens or Toxo with the arrow stun. We'll get actually RP that won't kill him off Demon. We'll get the kill in the end, but an RP just to secure the kill on an almost dead Clockwork. I'm not too sure if that's worth it. Demon trying to find enough time to juke out and maybe get a teleportation, but power's right on top of him. Mind control is going to head him off, and Demon uh, is going to skewer away to the clutches of Undefeated, where it's a trap. Power. What, what Undefeated? He didn't move. Okay, there we go. Now he's going to go for power. And he should be able to take this Razor down, although the damage drain, making it so difficult. Life Stealer is literally doing no damage right now. Power is going to turn this one around. Infest into the Chen Creeps. Oh, please send him back to the base. Please, oh, yes. The Life Stealer is back in the base. <laughs> but in the meantime, they're still fighting. Power is going to be just fine. He's going to actually turn this one around for OMFG. The Visage goes down. Lunatic in the channel. Another Freezing Field. Do a lot of damage to the Razor. He will drop. But again, we have a Prisoner in the Risk base. <laughs> Yes! I've waited so long. This is oh the first time God. I've seen this in a game that I've casted. <laughs> oh my god. I can't I can't move my screen off. It's, I, I, I can't. I'm waiting for the moment. I mean it's gotta happen. You can't just sit here all day. Dyer's well he has fifteen hundred gold. He should buy up his phase boots and then I don't know what he wants to get next, but definitely buy up the phase boots because I don't think he's gonna get out of this anytime soon. Alright, well, in the meantime, Slavi blinking up towards Demon, and Demon's gonna get chopped down, does have a skewer, arrow gonna come in, will hit the creep, but Slavi, Demon's gonna run straight into Dendo, straight into a hookshot by Zertoxo, and uh, the Life Stealer's still chilling, Garbo, Garb now is going to get uh, initiated upon by Slavi once again, the potion's shaking down, he will find vision of it, and the potion will chuck down, Life Stealer does finally go down, I missed it, Garb is gonna get stunned up on Penitence as well. Nuke down, one more chop from Slavi. He will blink unnecessarily, but that will do it. It's three down for Lithium. Unfortunately, I missed the great unveiling of the Life Stealer, but Lunatic, what are you doing here, Lunatic? Slavi is gonna find yet another kill on the Crystal Maiden. Oh, 330 move speed, poor girl. It's a rough life, the CM life. 280 base. That is my that is my main support hero too. It's I, I know that life. Yeah, that's why my main support hero is Rubik, because I don't have to deal with that. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Okay. Well, Life Sealer died in the base. He bought a javelin Dyer's before he did die, so it looks like he's gonna go straight for the Basher. Phase boots to keep up with his enemies. Maybe not a huge priority, seeing as though he, if he does take a prolonged fight. Oh, blink RP into a uh, infest bomb power is going to be unable to drain the damage. The arrow will miss, though the damage drain is now there. Undefeated is hitting for nothing now. He's hitting for 30. He is hitting for absolutely nothing. He's doing no damage except for the feast damage. Undefeated trapped in the cogs with Garb and a two-man stun from Slavi. They're both going to drop. Power still alive. Everyone's still alive from the wrist side. Zertoxo going to chase down this mag. Four staff forward will be a little bit off target, but Power is there. One more whip will kill off the Magnus. It's 22 for 8. This top tier 2 tower is going to be next on the chopping block and risk they're just looking unstoppable right now alchemist with blink four staff as well as phase boots this is a uh, quite a unique alchemist build <laughs> yeah that's uh it's the ultimate mobility build sometimes you see this on anti-mage and uh, very rarely it's just <laughs> ultimate mobility yeah i mean he only really needs that unstable concoction he's 7 0 13 20 of the 22 kills have had Slavi's involvement. Oh, oh no, no, not oh. Lunatic again. <laughs> Why? Double damage? Oh, he's going to escape? No, he's not going to. He's dead. He's so dead. Mind control with Shadow Poison. Killing off that CM. Oh, you got to feel for Lunatic. He's not having a, a fun game at all. Yeah, that's... Uh, you can't even come out and push out this creep wave like right underneath Dyer's your tower. tower is under attack. He's going to get jumped on like that. Here comes another. Up, oh, Slavi charging up the stun. He's gonna blink forward for a stun on Demon. He will blink, but it will just keep him in a safe spot instead of being stunned in a dangerous spot. Uh, tower eventually will go down. Mind control getting gets stunned up by some familiars, but 
the so far oh undefeated don't want to be there man where is power he's coming from the bottom lane but the cogs oh, go up so toxo is going to wall off undefeated and i don't think undefeated can get out of here trying to confess it's not going to work the RP being used only onto power. He's not draining anyone's damage. However, at the same time, he's not taking any damage. You can get sent back home by Chen. Not before getting a kill on the Marana, however. And the tier 2 tower is still up. Like, they still have that to take out. Oh, Slavi gonna go straight forward, though? I think this might be the first time in a very long time he stuns himself. Yeah. Hookshot from Zertoxo also misses OMFG. But the tower still stands. But Lithium's heroes, they're all kind of roughed up right now. Oh, there's a Dagon on Chen, by the way. Has Power even used... Oh, I was just going to ask if he's used Eye of the Storm at all this game, but he's got the Ag Scepter now. I think he's used it once, but it was, like, chasing, so it only hit, like, a couple times. But it's, uh, hard to... It's not a easy ultimate to keep track of, just because it's easy to just glance over it. Unless it has Ag and Scepter, in which case it's flashing a lot, and it's hard to miss. But, uh, Tier 2 Tower does go down. Garb does have a Life Stealer inside of him. And, uh, you probably don't want to go towards Slavi. Yeah. Alright, so the Chichu Tower is down, and an arrow. Gonna oh. connect on Dendo. Though, with disruption there, they can't actually kill this Chen. With four staffs as well. Power's very low, Dendo's very low, but they're pushing regardless. They feel powerful, and there we go. Slavi gonna initiate onto two. Lunatic is gonna die with Garb, and Undefeated is stuck in the cage. Gonna get all his damage drained out. The... Uh, Tether will break because of Demon's Skewer, but Undefeated still not doing much damage at all. Power is going to be absolutely dishing. Mind Control picks up a Mega Kill, and now all of Risk are in the Lithium base trying to get out. This is going to be awkward. Uh, Risk. Yeah, well, Zertoxo is going to try to kill off Dendo. It's not going to work. Four staff out. Everyone's going to live. Except for Slavi, maybe. He has Yule Scepter, okay, so... <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> you gotta be kidding. Oh my I god. I honestly don't know what is going on right now, but OMFG, well, RP oh. in the middle lanes are Toxo as well as Mind Control. Gonna get caught out. Acid's down. There's gonna be the death of the Clockwork. Mind Control as well. Slavi gonna jump right in, trying to go for OMFG. Will not do it. He's gonna get caught in a freezing field, but there's the mobility. And, well, actually, Shadow Demon does pick off OMFG in the meantime. Power's back in this fight. He's gonna go straight for Lunatic because that is the name of the game. How many times can you kill Lunatic? Slavi gonna get stunned up by an arrow, it looks like, but Power is still gonna go to town on Garb. It's gonna be so many kills for Risk. Clockwork's still dead, but with the Eye of the Storm active, they're gonna go straight for Demon. Demon's gonna get zapped down as well by Dendo from the low ground. Dagon, only level 1, but I'm sure that will be grown soon enough. Mid lane is uh, not long for life with only the Life Stealer to defend it. Yeah, I, I mean, I hate to call things prematurely, but this is looking pretty over for Lithium. Yeah, uh, their life stealer just doesn't have enough to single-handedly kill everyone, and at that point, even if he did, Razor was always there with Static Link, and uh, Lithium, all their right-click damage is focused on the life stealer. I guess it would, some of it would ideally be on Marana, but she's not been having a good time at all, so she's not doing any damage either. There's really no damage aside from the freezing field. Uh, coming out from Lithium. Well, I guess Mag as well, but uh, Skewer and Skewer and Shockwave only does so much. Especially when Lunatic is once again going to get jumped on. Dagon to kill him off, and Garb going to get stunned up by an unstable concoction. Zapping him down is Dendo, and GG is called. Ladies and gentlemen, week three of League of Dota, your champions, it's going to be Risk. Wait, did Power just get steal damage from the familiar? Uh... I don't think you can. I don't think you could steal damage. I think you could link it to a familiar and it won't do anything. It's weird. Yeah, familiars are weird. Familiars. Wow. Classic familiars. Oh. Oof. Slavi. I'm With gonna, the shots. I'm going to close this before we get any more of that trash talk. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you are on my stream, if you're watching on the VODs that I'm recording, then uh, yeah, obviously follow the stream, follow the YouTube channel, uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel, uh, Lodestone. Where can everyone find you? Uh, you can find me at twitch.tv slash Lodestone Media. Um, my Twitter channel and YouTube channel are linked on there as well. Um, so I'll throw VODs up on YouTube and such. And, of course, my Twitter channel, you'll know when I go live if you're following that. But that's where you can find me. And, 
yeah, those was those was pretty exciting games, even though they were a little bit one sided, huh? <laughs> I think uh, it's just worth it to see the Crystal Maiden show. She's yeah. like not having a fun time at all. Oh no, that was pretty bad. All right, well but, uh, that's gonna be it, guys. Thanks for watching. GG.